Hey, everybody, it's the coach. Welcome to the special Saturday edition of the NFL on EA Sports. Up next, we'll see Jared Goff and the NFC champion Los Angeles Rams as they take on Derek Carr and the Oakland Raiders. So with that, let's get out to the East Bay in Oakland, California. On the call, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Thank you, Coach. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to Oakland, California. This was the scene a few minutes ago. The folks around the stadium clad in silver and black going to make every last game played in Oakland count. They're ready to go as their Raiders get set to match up with the Los Angeles Rams. From up top, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles Davis, as always, with me as well. And CD, defenses better be on their toes in this one because we got two quarterbacks who love to throw the football, and they throw it very well. Over 4,000 yards each in the previous season. So what you're saying is, if you're a defender, hope you're prepared properly. Hydrated, stretched, be on your toes, as you said, because the ball's coming your way. kick this one away that'll be taken in the end zone and he won't return this one he'll go down to a knee and they'll start at the 25. Derek Carr is set and ready to roll as he leads the Raiders out onto the field Carr in his sixth season 28 years of age former second round pick back in 2014 and a lot of people feel this is a critical season for Derek Carr as a Raider. Remember, there were whispers that the Raiders might be in the market for a QB in the draft. He even contemplated maybe making a run at Kyler Murray. But in the end, they stood pat with Derek Carr, hoping that he's the long-term answer. What now? Now a fake on the give here as they try the run pass option. This is caught by Antonio Brown. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. Just like that, a pickup of 20 on their first play from scrimmage. A good grab there by the former Central Michigan man, Antonio Brown. And he ate up some real estate on the catch too, didn't he? I think the most impressive part of it though, if there's a chance for him to get the football, even though he was covered well, he somehow finds a way to get it. A big play to start him out. Has him at the 45 already. They run it with a rookie from Alabama, Josh Jacobs. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. Now that was an excellent run. And when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block. But the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes. So when they block on a big-time running play and create extra space, you've got to hit the jackpot there. On second and very short, Carr. And down he goes on the pressure from the Rams defense. Aaron Donald with a sack. That play was hard to see. One play goes wrong, and all of a sudden it's third and very long when they had been in second and inches. Yeah, I know you like the idea of taking I a do. shot on second I and do. inches, <laughs> but you can't take a sack for that big of a loss. That's the one thing you cannot do. They gave it up, and now they're way behind the chains. Good luck with this next play call. Carr and the Raiders following the sack, looking up at a third and long. Carr with a play fake to Jacobs. And that will be incomplete. So the defense able to get off the field here on third down. And it's one of the goals of the game. They've got to be effective on passing downs. It's one of the few things defenses chart. How did we do on third down? That's a nice start for them in this one. So on fourth down, here's Johnny Townsend to punt it. JoJo Natson back deep for the Rams.
And this one hits at the three and then bounds into the end zone for a touchback. So now the Rams will get their first opportunity with a football. They'll be led by a man who grew up across the bay in the town of Novato. It's the first round pick from nearby Cal Berkeley, and that's Jared Goff. And how about it? When you're the number one overall pick, there's an incredible sense of excitement. I'm sure there's pride for he and his family to be that guy. And some pressure. Boy, does it bring <laughs> some responsibility and pressure with it as well, doesn't it? Because he's expected to be the so-called savior as well as the face of the franchise. So here's his opportunity. And now he's back at home, so to speak, playing in front of some familiar faces. And that one covered beautifully. Their defenders stayed home, and they'll stop him behind the line. That sends him two yards in the wrong direction and leads to second down. I like the idea to mix it up from time to time because, let's face it, you can't be predictable. But the execution was a little lacking on this one, right? They might want to go back to the drawing board with that call. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. A shotgun snap for Goff. He's letting it fly. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. And they do finally get him down, but not before he reaches the 41. Every defensive staff harps on limiting explosive plays. <laughs> Job not so well done there. Yeah, they talk about it all the time. A lot harder to stop, though, isn't it? And when you think of an explosive play, most offensive staffs define them as passes of 20 or more yards and runs of 15 or more yards. They went zooming past that number there. So the big play gets them across midfield now for first and 10. Now the third leading rusher in the NFL last year, Todd Gurley. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play caller to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. Black 20. Black 54. Black 54. Let's go. Now on second down, this is Gurley. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 11 yards there, first down. Tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line. They didn't just gash him there. They blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through. And if he comes back to the huddle, he better be giving them a whole lot of credit and thanking them for that much space to rumble. Cut! Black 20! Check, check, Black 54, Black 54. This is Daryl Henderson, the rookie third rounder. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. And quickly now, here's a look at the Rams offense. And I think the entire league benefited when Andrew Whitworth made the decision to come back for his 13th NFL season. Still one of the best offensive tackles in the game. Four Pro Bowls, two times first team All-Pro. He's now 10th among active players in the NFL in games started. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Second down, it's Henderson. And he's gonna fight his way forward here for a modest game. Vontez Perfect, the one to get him down. Quickly now, the starting 11 for the Oakland defense. Let's talk about Vontez Burfecht, the versatile linebacker. You can play him inside, you can play him outside. Undrafted coming out of college, and that still fuels him. Gives him that huge chip on his shoulder. And when he's right and plays at his best, one of the best linebackers in the league. Just has to know where the line is so he doesn't go past it and cost his team some penalties. Yeah, the Raiders call on a nickel set for third down. Goff now to throw, and that is incomplete. I think that was a good job there defensively. They did allow him to drive all the way downfield, but once they got their backs to the goal line, they really turned up the pressure. Yeah, they let him get all the way down here. Now the field shrinks. They've struggled to convert, and that last incompletion brings up fourth. And Zerline's kick is good. And the Rams have the first points here. It's 3-0.
Zerline, of course, last year had likely the iconic field goal of the season, booting that 57-yarder in the Superdome to send his squad to the Super Bowl. Yeah, you really hurt the Saints fans on that one, didn't you? Sorry. They didn't want to hear that at all, but this guy deserves his nicknames. Greg the Leg, Legatron, because the ball goes through the post at a heavy rate, 87% in 2018. Made field goal Zerline back out there now to send this one away. This is fielded at the goal line. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30 yard line. And now Oakland ready to take the field. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trite expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. You don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. Carr and the Raiders come up first and 10, just shy of the 30. Play action. Now it's Carr. And this is going to be incomplete. Antonio Brown, the intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down. And the offensive starters here for the Raiders. And all eyes will be on Antonio Brown on the outside, now wearing a uniform other than Pittsburgh's. Donning the black and silver of Oakland. How will he mesh with his new head coach, John Gruden? His new quarterback, Derek Carr. Let's see how things go. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and 10. To throw again, Carr. It's caught on the right side, Williams. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 19 yards to pick up there, move the chains. Now that was pretty. They executed that curl route versus zone coverage, and that changes things a little bit because against man, it's often a tight curl, a tight, a sharply run route. Against zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area, so you may curl it a little bit wider just to get to that place. And usually a tight window. He fired a bullet in there for the completion. First down. Out to the right here to Wilson. And down he goes at the 49, a three-yard pickup. A minimal gain as we tick down inside of a minute remaining in the opening quarter. First down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. We got three. We got three. Car to throw again. And to the left side here, Wilson. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 12 yards there on a first down. One of the advantages of zone defense, as I remember it, is being able to see the play develop in front of you. One of the disadvantages? when they find those levels where they can hit you with it. Sometimes behind the corner and in front of the safety, it makes it tough to defend. A good pickup of six there on first down. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs as we just saw there. Down. 12 yards there and a first down. 
seems as if the passing attack starting to heat up a little bit here in the second quarter. You can sense and you can see the momentum because now they're reading their patterns downfield, they're understanding the coverages, and they're finding the open holes in the defense. Here's Jacobs on first and 10. And a good gain here of nine from the 19 down to the 10. So much of the game today, we're looking for hybrid players, guys who can do a combination of jobs. And anyone who plays a strong safety position now more than ever is a hybrid type player. Half defensive back that covers passes and half linebacker that makes tackles. We just saw the linebacker make that play. Not even a chance to pitch that one as he's swallowed up in the backfield. That's going to go down as a loss of five, and it brings up third down. Well, that's the big drawback to this play. Even if somehow the quarterback pitches it, he's not immune to the big hit. In this case, he kept it and absorbed it anyway. The Rams calling on their nickel set here defensively for third down. Now Carr. He gets it to Brown. Good play. And he can't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. I don't care how many times we see it. I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. I'm, I'm coming after you. I'm coming after you. I'm coming after you. They'll run it with Jacobs. And he is in. Touchdown, Raiders. Taking it in from a yard out. And the Raiders have taken the lead. Solid job up front. Really just a solid job all the way around to get that one in. That was well executed, wasn't it? Well blocked, well run. End result, six points. Touchdown. Now for the extra point, Daniel Carlson. And this is up and good to make it 7-3. So that one a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And it was capped off by a touchdown run from Josh Jacobs. Touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. This fielded at the two. And he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want a drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them wanted to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that, that <laughs> weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants a drive to end with a kick, <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. They go play action with Gurley. Now gone. And this will be incomplete. Robert Woods, the intended receiver that time. But it'll be second down. That pass just a little bit off. It looked like maybe he tried to force it in there. Game speed, always different, no matter what you do in practice. You can't simulate it, right? So your decision making, everything has to be a little bit quicker. Sometimes it can throw you off until you adjust. Second and 10, golf again. And he's gonna be taken down. Goff is sacked. 
Maurice Hurst never giving up. He works his way to the QB for a loss of 12. Okay, you know my bias is about to come out here. A lot of people think that the offense is just moving in the wrong direction. I'd say they're moving in the right direction because the defense is pushing them back. Former defensive guy. Now, as a quarterback third and long, you really got to rally the troops here, don't you? Yeah, you do in a big way. And what else do you have to look out for? More pressure coming at you because it seems to be working pretty well. So Goff, he'll try to refocus after the sack. The Rams now set up with a tough one, a third and long. From the gun, here's Goff. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down. So hang on, a big call coming on third down. Thought they were going to force a fourth down. Instead, P.I. gives him the first. And that's frustrating because you think you've taken them really deep into the count, haven't you? Instead, you've got to start all over. That can really, really be demoralizing. Now a first down throw, gone. It's caught left side by Cooks. Give him nine there on the first down completion. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. A play fake to Gurley, now gone. That's caught by his tight end, Gerald Everett. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. 11 yards there, first down. So much goes into a successful play, doesn't it? How about that play action there? Freezing the defense just enough to spring the tight end free downfield for the completion. On first down, it's Gurley. And he works his way forward for about four up to the midfield strike. And that's one of the reasons you like to blitz even on rundowns. It confuses the blocking assignments. It doesn't allow those offensive linemen to get up to the second level. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Here's Gurley now, out of the gun. And this will be taken across midfield and into Raider territory. Give him four on the carry, and it'll make this a third and about two. Two minutes to play in this first half. 7-3, our score. Coming up at halftime, Jonathan Coachman will join us from Orlando with our halftime report. The business to take care of before we get there. A two-minute drill before the coaches' two-minute drill. Well, I don't think Gurley got there. Looks like the defense held him back. Call it no gain there, and it leads to a fourth down. I apologize in advance, partner, but the beef eaters on the interior of this D-line, you just know they were licking their chops on third and short. And yes, they were rewarded with a tasty dish, stuffing that one short of a first down. The four-time All-Pro Johnny Hecker is on to punt for L.A. Back deep for the Raiders, Dwayne Harris. On is the punter Hecker as he gets this one away. And a bit of a mistake there. This is well into the end zone for a touchback. Now the Oakland offense heading back onto the field to take over. Still more than a minute to go, so there is time if they want to mount something here. Not only time, but they have three timeouts at their disposal as well, so that changes everything that you're doing here. Without those timeouts, you can only work the sidelines hoping to get out of bounds. Here, the middle of the field is still available because you can call timeout and regroup. Throwing on first down is Carr. Caught out right by Renfro. Just a yard on the catch there. It'll be second and nine. He steps out of bounds behind the line of scrimmage.
Second and nine now from the 21. I got you. Card out of throw. He's got Wilson, middle of the field. And he's upended after a gain of four up to the 25-yard line. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. They had the catch on second down, but it didn't help at all. And now they're looking at third down here. Shotgun now for Carr. And the throw there going to be incomplete. More problems here on third down. They've converted only once so far in this first half. And you know as well as I do in this league, if you don't win on third down, it makes it hard to win a ball game because then you're relying on your defense, you're relying on your special teams. You've got to get it done with your offensive unit. Here now, Johnny Townsend as he's on to punt for Oakland. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. Oh, and what a play on special teams here. This is going to be down inside the five, all the way down at the two-yard line. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. Inside of a minute left in the half, does the fact that you're down on the scoreboard influence what you do or, I guess, don't do on this final drive? It certainly does, but what influences me even more is who I've got running my football team out on the field and the weapons around him. Can he make a play? Can he get into someone that we're going to trust to take care of the ball? If that's the case, I might push it a little bit here and try and get something before the half runs out. They'll start out on the ground with Gurley. And he's able to get him a small cushion before being taken down at the five, a gain of three. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 45 seconds to go in the first half. to Gurley and he swallowed up right near the line of scrimmage now the Rams will signal for a timeout their second as they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this first half facing the prospect of a punt from their own end zone they need some cushion let's see what they can do on third down now Goff will hand this one to Gurley and they'll indeed stop him on third down and now what do you want to do with your timeouts now the Raiders going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as it'll come with 36 ticks to go in half number one here's Johnny Hacker now as he's on to punt for L.A. 46 on his first kick. This one in that neighborhood as well. It'll be a 51-yard punt that time. And the Raiders will take over now first and 10. And now Oakland ready to take the field. Less than 30 seconds to go in the half. Pretty good starting field position, all things considered. You'd think they definitely have time to get into field goal range. Yes, and you get into the huddle or you come off the bench here and you've called multiple plays because you're going to say, this is how we're going to run them in order, guys. You don't have time for audibles. You don't have time to change anything. You're trying to get the ball in position to at least get three. They've got a great shot to do it right here. A good starting spot for the Raiders as they come up first and 10. On first down, Carr. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And it's knocked away and incomplete. 
I know the initial focus was on how far that pass was downfield, but how about the coverage on the play? Able to stay with him, get his hands where the receiver's hands were going to try and catch the ball, tips it up in the air, and knocks it away. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and ten. They're not ready for this. They're still playing. Y'all playing the wrong football. Throwing again. Carr. Man open left side. It's Williams. The catch and run. Good for 24 yards. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. From the gun, it's Carr. Throw right side, complete to Williams. Now here's a timeout as they're going to get it with eight seconds remaining here in the first half. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. From the right hash, this from an even 40 yards out. The kick by Carlson is good. And they push the lead up to a touchdown now at 10 to three. Last season for Carlson, bit of a strange rookie year. Won the Vikings job, then was let go week two after going 0 for 3, but he picked things back up. Remember, he was drafted to cure their kicking woes, and he ends up going 0 for 3 against Green Bay, including the potential game winner. Gets cut, picked up by the Raiders, 16 for 17 the rest of the season. I'd say at the end of the year, a pretty good success story. After the made field goal, Carlson now sets up to kick this away. This is taken at the three. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As we'll send you back over to Orlando with our EA Sports Halftime Report, here's Jonathan Coachman. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to an abbreviated version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. This game's had a little bit of everything thus far and certainly plenty to look forward to as the teams are right back out there for the second half. So we'll get right back out there as well as we'll turn it back over to Brandon God. Okay, Coach, appreciate it. A one-touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. Teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. This fielded a few yards into the end zone, and no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Here's the Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here in half two, no? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors but overall I think they wanted to be positive with them guys we're right there just not playing as well as we need to let's pick it up and we still have a chance to win this game ah, yeah they do we'll see if they can pick it up golf will lead the Rams up here first and 10 at their 25 yard line the third quarter starts with a run by Gurley and they're able to get this one across the 35 nice way to start the drive a gain of 12 and a first down First downs have not come easy, and neither have runs like this throughout this game. Absolutely not. He finally felt like, whoa, a sigh of relief. We got something going in the running game. Come on, 
Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Now it's Gurley. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, this big defensive lineman will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Hey, D-line, let's get in there. Let's get in there, man. From the 40 now on second down, Goff. He'll get this complete to Cooper Cup. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. Of course, the catch was nice, but how about what happened after? Able to stay on his feet and gain all that additional yardage. So many of these slot guys, I think, have running back in their background. So here's a first and 10 now in Raider territory at the 41. Play action. It's gone. And the Raiders have got him. And plays like that really hurt play calling. They had a really nice gain on the previous play, but gave about half the yardage back on the sack. Excellent pressure up front. Nowhere to go with the football. Down he goes. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. They run out of the shotgun with Gurley. The tackle there by LaMarcus Joyner. We know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. Third and long. It's gone. And that is incomplete. Fair to say, hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of, you nailed it pretty well, you know. He's got to throw it better, got to get more help. Obviously one that should have been caught, they've got to find a way to bring those, those two elements together so they can make some progress in this one. Here's Johnny Hacker now as he's on to punt for L.A. Averaging 50 yards of boot so far as this one's away. Get ready, get ready. So here comes the Raiders offense getting ready for their first possession of the second half. They have the lead here. Well, we talk a lot about pregame speeches. What are halftime speeches like? For the most part, not nearly as emotional. They're a lot more clinical. Every now and then, though, they'll get after you if they think they need to light a fire. But in this case, let's go into the virtual locker room because here's what I think happened. They got in there and they said, listen, Let's take control right away. Yeah, Defense, we got the, yeah. we got the, we got the lead. Defense, don't give up any points. Turn the ball back over to the offense and let them go down and score and give us more of a cushion in the game. And got his man complete. The 20, 10, and all the way in. Touchdown, Oakland. Antonio Brown, 81 yards. And the Raiders add on to their lead. Still plenty of time left in the game, but now starting to pull away a little bit. Get some breathing room with that one. And I don't want people to think that NFL locker rooms are cookie cutter, that everyone's saying the exact same thing in every situation. But I do know that all 32 teams have an emphasis on starting fast. Game, being on the second half, no matter what, with his first five minutes, first three, whatever, this was a big score to start the second half. Carlson on for the PAT. It's up and good, and that makes it 17-3. Those are the ones the offensive coordinators dream about. One play drives from that distance. What an effort. It results in the touchdown.
following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. And with this deficit, you can't have too many more drives like the last drive where you had to punt it away. You know what I would tell my offense right here? The punter doesn't exist, guys. He doesn't even exist. He's not, He's not a team anymore. I just cut him, all right? <laughs> so you've got to go out and create some offense for us here and give us some points. No way does that guy get on the field on this drive. Oh, poor punter. Oh, yeah, he, it, it, it wasn't his fault. But, so, hey, listen, if got, there have got to be casualties at times. We're trying to win a game. Now a fake on the give here as they try the run pass option. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Goff turns and gives to Gurley. Give him a yard on the run there, and that's going to set up a third down and two. Partner, we know today's NFL is really built around the guy throwing the football. But these short runs, they still pay dividends because they can take their toll on a defense, and they can add up as the game goes along. You control the clock, you control the ball, and that way you often control the game. They'll try and pick up the first with Gurley. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. It's a pickup of six and good enough to move the chains. And a nice little broken tackle run there by Todd Gurley, the 10th pick in the 2015 draft. And that's what you get with him, that full package of speed, power, able to catch the ball in the backfield. Many people doubted him coming out because of the knee injury in college. <laughs> They're seeing the full Todd Gurley now, and it hurts. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Out of the gun, gone. That's complete to his tight end, Higby. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. That's a staple of this offense, drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Here we go. Here we go. Hey, three. Now a handoff for Gurley. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. Four yards the pickup, first down. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and 10. Henderson now on first and 10. And this will be taken across midfield and into Raider territory. P.J. Hall there to make the tackle. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. Michael, look alive! 180! I'm coming after you! I'm coming after you! Go off on the draw play to Henderson. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. Six yards the pick up, and that's a first down. I'm okay with the call there. In fact, I actually like it. I know they're down a couple of scores, but the running game worked in that situation. I would continue to go in that direction. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and 10. They'll run on first down. Henderson. And they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. Yeah, that was a safety that came through and made the play, but there's no doubt in my mind, he hits like a linebacker. We see a lot of that in today's NFL, don't we? And that time, we do indeed a big hit for a loss. A small bit of adversity here on what's been a strong drive as they come up second and 12. They'll try the air now with Gaul. And that's going to be incomplete. Just work with me a second here because in my lifetime, seeing how quarterback percentages have changed in throwing the football, 
I mean, back in the good old days, if you were around 50%, you were doing okay. But now, you need to be 65 to 70% to be considered an elite quarterback. And in this ball game, I feel like we're playing old school, right around 50%. Yeah, he's under 50%. He needs to start hitting more targets. And he's going to lose yardage here. As they will switch ends as time has run out on this third quarter of play. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. Goff now looks to throw. He's going to look deep down the field. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. No luck for the Rams as they fail here on fourth down. And the Raiders with the football now in excellent field position. Back onto the field now comes the wideout Antonio Brown. And I know that they've double teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? But it's usually not by himself, is it? Right. Usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well. and 10. Here's Carr. Wilson snags at left side. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. Five yards on the catch there. Brings up second down. Another nice pick up through the air. And I think a lot of people might expect them to run the ball in this situation, Brandon. But with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swings, slants, quick outs, things that they consider safe. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. On second down, Jacobs able to push forward for about four down to the 37. Bottom line, they want to keep this clock rolling, so they'll take that one right there. They just want to keep falling forward, and they want to put the onus on the big fellas up front in order to bring this one home. The Raiders on third down, just one for three thus far. They're up against a third and one situation. Try to run for it with Jacobs. Uh-uh, he is going nowhere as he is enveloped behind the line. Call it no gain that time, and they're going to be left looking up at a fourth and one. This late in the game, Charles, I think you maybe seriously have to think about going for it. Especially where they are in terms of field position because this is almost like no man's land. Might hurt your punter because there might not be enough space, maybe too far for your field goal kicker. I I'm like the old rule. Possession is nine-tenths of the law. Possession is nine-tenths of winning the game. Go for it, get the first down, close it out. A 54 and this one will not get there. It's off to the left anyway. It's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. Now this one now not over yet, Charles. You've got a sliver of hope on that other sideline. You certainly do, because that would have made it a three-score game. And that probably would have been curtains at that point. But now if they can get down the field quickly and somehow get the ball back one more time, we may have a different ball game. Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. And this offense last time turned it over, went for it on fourth, didn't get it. They're lucky, though, because no points against the team on the board, but we'll see how they respond. Yeah, they've got to get a lot of credit to their defensive teammates, don't they? They had their backs on that last series, and because they did so, that allows a coach to still stay aggressive on offense and maybe go for it again in a similar situation. I was going to say, maybe makes that offense feel good when you know you've got a defense making stands like that. Yeah, that will loosen up things a little bit, won't it? Maybe you'll play a little bit better the next time you have the ball. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. 
At this stage, this drive's got to be touchdown or bust because you need two of them. And if I'm the offensive play caller, I'm not just looking at my dagger plays downfield. I'm looking at some of my specials, something that can fool them and give you a big play now. With a sense of urgency. No doubt. Jared Goff, four times last year, he led the Rams on a fourth quarter comeback. He obviously didn't do it in Super Bowl 53, but can he do it here? Looking to throw again on second down. Goff, and he almost intercepted it. They haven't picked a ball off yet. That probably should have been their first, and it's third down now. I guess they're in a situation now, fourth quarter, where they're forced to take some chances, but I don't know that that was the type of a chance you want to take. And that one could very easily have been intercepted. If it does get picked off, that could possibly seal this one. Now gone. And that will be incomplete. Well, the other day they told us when we've got third and five or less, we have to be able to convert. And I guess every team would say that, Charles, but an opportunity missed there. What they were trying to tell us is they believe it's a matchup game at that point. And they liked some matchups that they had, thought they could exploit them, unable to do so on that play. Here we go on four. Gone. And no, it's incomplete. No luck for the Rams as they fail here on fourth down. And this defense will take over right near midfield at the 49-yard line. So still over three minutes remaining in this game, but boy, not getting that when that hurt. That's a little bit demoralizing, so they have to be careful about that because still have an opportunity if they can get some things done on defense. But now, since they've taken over on downs, a team with the ball, guess what? Going to four-minute offense, maybe they can put this thing away. Carr and the Raiders come up first and 10, just shy of midfield at the 49. Carr with a play fake to Jacobs. Catch made right side by Wilson. Fresh out of the locker room, they hit him with a gain of over 20. Still throwing the football here, even with the big lead. Yeah, I know you and I came up in a different era. We think about sportsmanship and all that. Other people think about fantasy points and getting their numbers. <laughs> That's all they care about right now. Carr now, 13 out of 17 throwing the ball. He's got a first down. The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get downfield. 50 down. 180. 58 right there. That's it. On second down now, Richard. And he's going to get hit at the line of scrimmage and driven backwards. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know that securing the point of attack, especially against the big-bodied guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. The Raiders on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This is third and seven. Working from the gun, it's Carr. And a throw there, gonna be incomplete. They had enough yards for the first down, but a clutch hit right there defensively. Jars it free, no first down. On fourth down, here's Daniel Carlson for the Raider field goal. This to make it a three-score game late. Carlson able to put this one through, and that will extend their lead even further. So with that, you figure yeah, this game's pretty much out of reach at this point. Yeah, it's going to take a heck of a comeback to come from three scores down, but don't change that channel. Don't go away. Miracles can happen, and you want to be here in case it does. You're a company man. Now, aren't I, though?
After the made field goal, Carlson now sets up to kick this away. This will be taken in at the one. And he'll take this up past the 20 and down at the 22-yard line. Now the Rams offense, they work their way back on the field. And on that last drive, Whitford on fourth turned it over. But good job by their defense, though. They held them to three. But this offense, they've got to be a little bit better, a little bit more careful here. And sometimes when you see these calls on fourth down, when they decide to go for it, it's not necessarily the coach saying, I believe in my offense. Sometimes the coach saying, I believe in my defense. I can afford to go for it here because if we don't get it, I don't think we'll give up more than three. And that's exactly what happened think there. That factor, yeah. I do. I think that he had that in his mind going into the game, that I'm going to be aggressive on offense because I know I've got a defense that can hold up their end. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Rams football here as we get your reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. To throw again on second down. Goff. And they'll set up the screen to Gurley. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. 15 yards on the play, first down. When you run a screen pass really well, you got to like the look of it because so many parts come together to make it work well. The offensive linemen where they're faking people out, the back slipping out there, catching the football, then all of them going together as one unit downfield. A really nice pickup. Meanwhile, Goff to Gurley as he drops it off for his running back. It's a loss of four there, bringing up second down. Really good defensive effort. They were all over that little swing pass out to the right side before loss yarded. Terrific read, better execution, and done with a lot of enthusiasm. Well, he yeah, absolutely. They saw it all the way, ran to the football, and caused a nice play for loss yardage. Throwing again on second down. Golf, right side complete. That's Woods. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Interception so far. That probably should have been their first, but at least it's fourth down. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. They're running with Gurley. And this doesn't end well at all as they stop him far behind the line to gain. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and the Raiders are going to win the football game. So they tried to go for it for pride, but it really wouldn't have mattered. This one, it was already determined. No doubt about it. This one was over a while ago. Now the Raiders offense, they get set to head back on the field. And checking the timeouts, they do have two defensively, but no real need to use them as they're not going to be able to stop the clock after that. down Jacobs and he'll get this down only to about the 46 tackle there by Clay Matthews 
Well, he was looking for some running room, and there wasn't a whole lot of it there on that play. I think he was lucky to get a couple yards out of it because those defenders, they were rallying to the football pretty quickly. Once again, it's Jacobs. Micah Kaiser was in on the tackle. The Raiders on third down. Just one for five to this point. This is third and four. So this one, a victory for the Oakland Raiders. And you look back over the score sheet, interesting. A very clean game, no turnovers by either side. An absolute rarity when we watch games now because defenses have put such an emphasis on taking the ball away. Well, what we saw here was offenses spending their time saying, look, you know they're coming for it. Ball security is paramount. So they worked on that, not just a week of practice, but I'm sure all during training camp. Make sure when you have it, tuck it away because danger lurks everywhere you turn. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gauden. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. The Black Hole celebrates the Raiders are winners here as we say so long from Oakland.